friends. Good day. How are you? I hope you're well. Today, I'm here with a new program for you. This program has a simple interface, and I hope it helps you. Our program is called SMTP Checker. It has two features, SMTP Checker and SMTP Sender. You can use this program and make the most of it. Please watch the tutorial till the end. All right, friends. Before we dive into the program, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever we upload a new video. SMTP Checker Program. This section here is where we add our email and password. Just like I've placed them in a file here, you should also put your email and password in a file in the format of email colon password. So now we need to select the email and passwords. This section here is for the number of simultaneous connections, and this one is for the timeout. Please don't change these settings, as they're already optimized. This part is for the test email. We put an email address here so that when the program finds a valid SMTP, it can test sending an email to see if it works or not. That's why we have this field. All right, now we enable this checkbox and enter an email for testing. Let's use a Gmail address. We copy the Gmail address here and paste it into the field so we can check whether the SMTP connection works or not. Alright, now we click the start button and the program will begin its operation. Now we just wait for the program to find an SMTP that actually works and can send emails. Okay, it has found one here. This SMTP is displayed, showing that it's functional. This section lists the email, password, SMTP server, port, and status, indicating that it's capable of sending emails. So, since we added that test email, we should now see an email sent to us. Let's check the Gmail. Yes, we've received a test email, which confirms that this SMTP is working and capable of sending emails. So, this SMTP is valid and functional. Now we can remove it from the list to keep track of the other SMTPs we test later. Alright, now we just wait for the program to finish its checking process. It's completed now, and we successfully found a working SMTP. Now, let's move on to the next part, the SMTP sender or email sender. Once the checking is done and the SMTP checker identifies a working SMTP, it shows us the valid SMTP here, which we can use. This section also allows you to add SMTP details manually if needed. This section is where we compose our email. Here we set the subject of the email, the body text, and we can also attach files if we want. We can even use HTML formatting here. For this test, let's put a simple subject like test and some text in the body to see if it sends successfully. I'll add a sample message with my username and a telegram ID, and then we'll see if it can send properly. Now, we can also attach a file here to test if it sends attachments properly. I'll just pick a random test file, it doesn't matter what it is. You can choose any file you want. I'll select this file, and here we have the list of emails that we want to send our composed message to. This list should only contain email addresses, no passwords.
As you can see, I've added two test emails here. Now let's give this list to the program and hit start to see if it sends the emails. Alright, we've clicked start and as you can see, it has successfully sent emails to both addresses we provided. So we saw that it was successful. Now let's check the Gmail inbox to confirm if the email was actually delivered. Look, the email has arrived successfully and it contains the exact text we wrote. The attached file is also there, sent along with the email. So, that was our program. I hope you found it helpful. This section here is the settings area, but I recommend not changing anything since it's already optimized. Down here, you can find my Telegram ID and my website. I hope this program proves useful for you and that you can make good use of it. Wishing you all success, and please subscribe to our channel for more useful programs in the future. Good luck!